What's going on guys? Jimmy God here, and today I'm going to be showing you the Kids of America Corp, Tadpole the Diver Frog. Got this along with Barnaby the Beekeeper Bear and Spike the Biker Dog, which I got all in a lot on eBay. I went into thorough detail about this in the previous video, so you can check that out for all the information. Now like I said, this came from a series of shaking standing characters with heavy weighted feet that keeps them stabilized. However, with this guy, he seems to be a little bit more top-heavy because he's got that little oxygen tank on the on his back, which kind of makes him fall back. So, uh, so this one is one of the more top-heavy as well as bottom-heavy characters. So I have to have him leaning like you see him here um, in order to keep him stabilized. I believe this is going to be the first video of this on YouTube because I've looked several, I've looked everywhere on the internet, could not find a single video of this guy on YouTube anywhere that came prior to this one. But who knows? Maybe there is one. I just haven't looked hard enough and maybe one day there could be a video that just comes up out of the blue that that I will realize then came before this one. But until that day, I'm just going to have to confirm that this is the first ever video of Tadpole the Diver Frog here. I'm actually interested in this series now as well as other Kids of America Corp items. Uh, this guy came out in 1999, by the way, along with Barnaby and Spike and all the other standing shaking characters that um, are part of the series. And like I also said in the last video, I am hoping to get them all. Although I do believe that Dr. Snuffle is going to be the hardest one to find because uh, I, as I'm recording this, there is one on eBay up for bids, but it's like $200 and then there's like a little extra for shipping. So uh, yeah, not going to go for that one until the seller decides to lower the price and put a best offer or buy it now function. If that ever happens, either that or I'll have to save my money throughout the year. Who knows? Prior to seeing it in action in the flesh, what I did not expect at all was that he would have a French accent and would basically be a French stereotype to even the most oversensitive Karens out there in the world. So as you might imagine, something like this probably wouldn't be made today because of just the French accent alone because probably it would be like, you know, a French stereotype or what have you. In fact, you could probably say that the entire series is made up of stereotypes, or should I say, quote-unquote stereotypes, because I don't see how this is going to be offensive to anyone, ever. Like, seriously. But uh, enough beating around the bush. Let's get to showing this guy in action. He says, a, he says several different phrases and has a French accent, so here we go. Yeah, this one's a little bit more quiet compared to the others. But, uh, anyways, here's an up close look at the character. There's Tadpole himself in his scuba suit with a little, uh, I, I think this was a little bit more rounded when it was brand new because, well, this item is well over 20 years old. I think it's like 22, gonna be 23 this year. Um, 23 years old. And, uh, so yeah, he's quite up there in age and he actually still looks pretty good for his age. There's like no deterioration on the sign here either. It says Tadpole's Treasure Team. 1-800-HUNT-FOR-YOU. We go to great depths. The two buttons with different sequence activation points. The heavy weighted feet. Alright. Woo! There he goes. Alright, here's the tag. Kids of America Corp. Just like with Barnaby, there's no date. But I can tell you this guy was made in 1999. There's this item number tag. If you, uh... Let's we'll see if I can get a good look at that. Item number, I think it says 13454. Now here's the back. There's the uh, the tank. The paint is starting to get a little chipped, but it's mostly intact, so it's nothing to worry about. It says Frog Spare Air. And then the Velcro pouch with the battery compartment um, tucked away in there. It has an on-off switch, like most Kids of America Corp items, or really all of them, that are animatronic. Because Kids of America did make some uh, static plush characters that just look good for the sake of being plush characters. And that's all I have to say for this guy, so let's go again and uh, give this guy another round with his phrases. Oh, no! 
The mechanism sounds so noisy to the point where it really makes it sound like it's a gear-controlled uh, vibrating mechanism, but really, I believe that's just the motor being a little roughed up after well over 20 years of being an age. But anyways, that's the Kids of America Corp. Tadpole the Diver Frog. Thanks for watching.